okay, here's the challenge that I have here. Here's a, a Photoshop image that I have, and I wish to divide this up into three identical sized images and have them be so perfectly aligned with one another that they'll easily fit in this fluid box responsive design layout that I have with the three fluid boxes in the middle. I don't want anyone to see any seams and I want the alignment to be perfect so that it appears like it's only one image when in fact it will actually be three. So one of the tools that's built into Photoshop that makes this really easy for you is the guides tool. And if you go down into the view dropdown menu and select new guide layout, you'll be presented with a bunch of guides that you can customize. In this case here, the default for me happens to be six columns, two rows, and you'll notice that there's a gutter of 1% for both the uh, columns and rows. Now in this case here, I'm going to change that. I'm going to make it three columns. I'm going to get rid of the gutter because I want only one guide separating the different uh, sections. And I only need one row, so I'm just going to get rid of uh, rows and get rid of the gutter as well. This is pretty much what I'm looking for here. And now what's great about this is I can use my rectangular marquee tool to select each area very precisely because the marquee tool will snap to these guides and allow you to make a very precise selection. So I'm going to select the first area here. You can see as you get close to that guide, it just snaps right in. That's perfect. And I'm going to copy and create a new Photoshop image from my clipboard and paste that in. So there's my first image. And let's go and do another selection here for the middle section. Again, it snaps right to position there. I'm going to Control C to copy, and we'll just hit Control N to create a new document. Again, using the clipboard as my, uh, my guide here, I'll create that, paste that in. There's my middle section now, and we'll do the same thing for the last item. Make sure you kind of extend above and below so it gets right to the edge of the image, and again, snaps to those guides as we get close to the side there. Control C or Command C if you're on a Mac and uh, Control N to create a new uh, document. Again, using the clipboard as my guide, we'll create that and we'll paste this in here. So now I'm going to save all of these. Uh, we're going to export them as PNGs in this case here. So I'm just going to put this on my desktop for right now. And what we'll do is we'll call this Office Write. And we'll do the same thing for this one here. Export as a PNG, office middle, and now our left-hand side part of the image here. Export, PNG, office left. So now we have all three of those images set up perfectly and they should be absolutely seamless with one another. Again, perfect for fluid box responsive design. When you want these images to be separate, perhaps you're using them as buttons, or perhaps you just simply want to make sure that they appear seamless with one another, even though they're located in separate fluid boxes. So I'm going to click my media drop-down icon, select image, and we'll just find the version of that image that goes in the left there, select my middle fluid box, select media and then image, office middle, and let's do the left hand side now, image, office right. And there we go. So now we have a fluid box arrangement and as you can see, that's perfect. That's absolutely seamless. And regardless, I've set these up to squeeze in a row. So regardless of what size device you're looking at, you're going to see a perfectly aligned set of three images. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. 
My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.